Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of k if we have k multiplied by k multiplied by k multiplied by k divided by k plus k plus k plus k is equal to 16 and we solve this problem for all the values of k. So here we need to find all the roots of this equation. Uh, so uh, for this uh, here first you need to focus into the numerator term and you see here this k is multiplied by 4 times and all of the exponent of this case is 1. Uh, so if exponent is 1 it means they are all uh, in other words the bases are same so uh, using the exponential and according to this we uh, add the exponents of these equations and we will get here k to the power of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 divided by here you see that k is added by four times so here we add the coefficients of all these k's okay so these are added by four times so uh, also the uh, all have coefficients one so uh, when we add one four times we will get here four times of k is equals to 16 and uh, further in the next step we have this is k to the power of 1 times 4 becomes k to the power of 4 divided by this is 4 times of k is equals to 16 and now here in the next step we use here the nice exponential law and according to this exponential law you know about that if we have a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n is equals to a to the power of m minus n so according to this rule you see here the exponent of this term is 1 so that we move uh, this exponent towards uh, uh, upward and it will become here 4 minus 1 divided by 4 is equals to 16. So further we need more simplifications and here we need to move this 4 to the right hand side and it will be written as k to the power of 3 is equals to this is 4 times of 64 is equals to 4 times of 16 is equals to 64. So further in the next step here uh, we move the 64 into the left hand side and it will become k cubed minus 64 is equals to 0. And now here we write both of these two terms into the cubic form and it will become k cubed minus we write 64 as 4 cubed and this whole equation is equals to 0. So you see here this equation uh, will become the cubic equation in k variables so here we use the nice cubic formula you know about that if we have a cubed minus b cubed is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b uh, so uh, here we just substitute the values of a and b uh, into this formula so after substituting these values our above equation is written as first you have a minus b the value of a is k and b is 4 into a square the value of a is k becomes k square plus a b the value of a is k and b is 4 plus b square b is 4 square and this whole equation is equals to 0. Further in the next step we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write k minus 4 is equals to 0 and the second case is we write k square plus 4k plus this 4 square becomes 16 is equals to 0. From here we easily get the value of k is equals to 4. This is the, our uh, first root of the given equation and from here we need to get all the other roots. So you see here this equation will become quadratic equation in k variables and we know about that there are three methods to solve the quadratic equation. Uh, the first method is a factorization method, second one is completing square method and third one is by applying the quadratic formula. But now here I can just use the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. So first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1, b is equals to 4 and c is equals to 16 and we state the quadratic formula as k is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a. This is the over quadratic formula and here we need to substitute the values of a, b and c. So now after substituting these values it will be written as first you have minus b the value of b is minus 4 plus minus 
स्केयर रूट ऑफ बी स्क्र बी इज फोर स्केयर माइनस फोर टाइम्स ऑफ ए इज वन सी इज सिक्सटीन एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू टाइम्स ऑफ वन एंड हेयर वी नीड मोर सिंप्लीफिकेशन एंड इट विल बी रिटर्न एज माइनस फोर प्लस माइनस स्क्र रूट ऑफ फोर स्क्र बिकम्स सिक्सटीन माइनस दिस इज फोर मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सिक्सटीन एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड बाई टू टाइम्स ऑफ वन एंड टू टाइम्स ऑफ वन इज इक्वल टू टू and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as k is equals to this is minus 4 plus minus here uh, we need to take common 16 inside the square root sign so when you take common 16 we get the remaining values are 16 times of 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 so here we just apply the square root sign separately on both of these values and it will become minus 4 plus minus we know that a square root of 16 becomes 4 and uh, we get the remaining value is square root of 1 minus 4 and 1 minus 4 becomes minus 3 and it is divided by 2. So further in the next step uh, here we need to break this fraction and when we break this fraction it will be written as minus 4 divided by 2 plus minus 4 times of square root of minus 3 divided by 2. And in the next step uh, we need more simplifications and we get here this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and we have minus 2 plus minus this is also 2 times 2 becomes 4 and we get here uh, 2 times of square root of 3 and here we apply uh, square root separately on both of these values and it will become square root of 3 into square root of minus 1. So here we easily obtain the value of k is equal to minus 2 plus minus this is 2 times of square root of 3 into square root of minus 1 is equals to iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation. And uh, finally we have uh, there are three roots of the given equation and uh, in which these two roots are complex roots and we have uh, k is equals to 4 be the one real root of the given equation. So we get these are the three roots of the given equation and this is the our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.